Samsung says its new Galaxy Tab line offers more choice and personalized experiences for consumers. Well, we'll find out about that in our full review, but first, we have to unbox it, so let's get to it. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 8.0. So one of the first things that struck me about the Galaxy Tab 3 8.0's packaging is just how tiny it is. Uh, for comparison, we have an AT&T branded Galaxy Note 8.0 here, and if we put the Tab 8.0 on top of the Note 8.0 packaging, it doesn't look like that big a difference, but this is absolutely probably one of the smallest tablet boxes uh, I have seen. So kudos to Samsung for being economical in their cardboard, and of course we've got that same wood grain here that we see on all the new Galaxy S4 product boxes. Product name on the side, we'll go around to the back, see if we can get a little close shot of the specs here. We're dealing with an 8.0 inch WXGA Super Clear LCD, 1.5 gigs of RAM, 5 megapixel camera on the back. There's that IR uh, blaster or IR transmitter call out for the universal remote control. Processors dual core 1.5 gigahertz, Android OS obviously, and a 4,450 milliamp hour battery. Now we're not supposed to accept this product if the seal is broken, and thankfully it is not. So let's just go ahead and slice on into that and tear up the box a little by accident. Oh well. Take it out here and let's see what we can do about sliding this sucker out of here. Aha! Look at the color action happening here. Yeah, I was wondering about this. So as far as the color goes here on this device, I was wondering which one we were going to get. Uh, the new Galaxy Tabs come in either a white or what Samsung calls a unique gold brown, and it's pretty clear which one this is. This is a this is a difficult color to describe. We're going to come back to it in a second. Let's see what uh, what is in the box in terms of inventory here. So kind of an interesting unboxing experience here. Trying to pull that center module out, it doesn't really cooperate, but. This center box contains all of the accessories that come in the package. There's a USB cable, of course the standard Samsung charger that we've come to expect, and what looks like some documentation, and that's about it. We have a uh, encouragement to register the product. Uh, what is this? Galaxy Tab Quick Start Guide. That's nice. And is this the warranty? Uh, this is, yeah, health and safety warranty guide, just in case you were wondering how to keep safe while using a tablet. Very, very important. And uh, a call out for Samsung Watch On, of course. Samsung missing no opportunity to uh, promote its software efforts. Let's get this stuff out of here and get back to the tablet. So here is the Tab 3 8.0 finished in this unique gold brown that we heard about before. Some more specs called out on the display. It's nothing that we didn't already see on the box, but it's nice to be reminded of what the device is packing. Uh, I'm very interested in the color here, so let's take off the back protector first, if we can. Wow, that's satisfying. Now this is quite an interesting color here. It's appearing somewhat black in uh, my viewfinder here, but it's actually quite a warm brown, almost a ruddy brown. It's, it's kind of difficult to describe. Let's see if I can get a different angle for you here. Up against the wall, maybe it is a bit more evident that this is a, uh, a very, very unique color. Uh, somewhat better than, than I expected. You'll notice that instead of silver, the camera bezel here is finished in a, in a sort of brassy, kind of a, a ruddy brassy tone, and so is the bezel on the side of the device, which also recalls the Galaxy S4, of course. Hopping back around to the front of the device, we'll take the opportunity to take this screen protector off. Silence, please. And there is that beautiful 8.0 inch display. We don't know if it's beautiful until we turn it on, but right now it's just a flat sheet of very smooth glass and it looks nice. We've got some other plastic on the sides here that can come off progressively as we, uh, as we take you on a tour of the hardware here. Down low you'll notice the three buttons that have come to characterize the Galaxy S line, the home button in the center and the capacitive back and menu keys alongside. The only distinctive feature on the back is that 5 megapixel autofocus camera. Taking it around to the side, we can see the power standby button, volume up and down, and the IR transmitter on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, the only distinguishing characteristic is the micro SD card slot. And down bottom, the dual speaker ports and the micro USB port. Now before we power on the unit for the first time, we're going to show you a couple devices next to it. First is the Galaxy S4. 
no mystery at all where the design influences are coming from on this line. Samsung making a big point of staying consistent in their uh, Galaxy products these days and uh, this is about as consistent as you can get. And since we teased it with the packaging before, there's no reason not to pop open this AT&T branded Galaxy Note 8.0, which we've already reviewed, by the way, the uh, international version of the Note 8.0, that is, we reviewed several weeks back. In terms of aesthetics, there's not much different between the Galaxy Tab 3 8.0 and the Galaxy Note 8.0. Once again, consistency is the name of the game here, which would be even more apparent if these colors were identical. Uh, right off the bat though, you can see the Note 8.0 has some really, really hefty bezels on the side, whereas the Tab uh, 8.0, the Tab 3 8.0 does not. Uh, very, very slim bezels there, but consistency in the volume, rocker placement, the standby key, the IR blaster, all that kind of stuff. Round back, they've moved or reshuffled the camera a little bit. We're not going to talk about specs at all, just, just aesthetics. Uh, but the main value add, of course, in the Note 8 is the S Pen absent on the Galaxy Tab. And for our last trick, we'll go ahead and power on the new Tab 3 8.0. Press and hold and power, and there we go. We can see by the brightening around the edges that this is an LCD panel. And as it powers up, uh, we'll just mention here that the Tab 3 8.0 it packs the same line of features found in the rest of the Galaxy lineup, or the more recent Galaxy lineup. Uh, the IR Blaster comes with the Universal Remote, uh, along with Samsung's Watch On service, which we saw called out in the literature earlier. And of course, the uh, access to the Samsung, various Samsung content stores, and of course, TouchWiz running on top of Android. And there's our welcome screen, ready to usher us into the Android experience on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. 8.0. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing experience of the Galaxy Tab 3 8.0, folks. Make sure and follow us on social media so you don't miss future content from Pocket Now. Visit us at pocketnow.com. Throw us a like if you did enjoy this video, and leave us a comment if you have something to say. Thank you once again for watching, and we'll see you next time.